Hey guys, welcome to our 30 minute vinyasa. And actually today we're gonna take it slow and slow down. And we're actually gonna get into um, Eka Padakun Vinyasa today. So hey guys, as you're coming on, um, you can follow the 30 minute slow flow on my Spotify. And this will be 30 minutes. Um, we're gonna work on hamstrings, hip opening. It's gonna be a little bit slower, deeper stretch. And then we'll end with Ekapada Kuninyasana. And of course, you don't have to go there. This is always your practice. And um, take it at your own pace. Hey, Nicole, hey, Jen. All right, come on into a comfortable seat for a moment. And if you're um, playing the Spotify playlist, you can always find me I think it's Audrey Sutton or Blissful Audrey, and it is gonna be 30 minute slow flow. So come into a comfortable seat. We'll start off with a mudra first, and you can hit play right now. So you might need to elevate your hips and take your left hand to your heart. Bring all of your fingertips on your right hand down to the ground. And just take a moment to elongate your spine. Connect to your breath. So today we're gonna to slow it down, but you know, slowing down doesn't always mean being lazy or taking it easy. Really my intention for today's practice is just to stay grounded and to stay connected. Stretch your breath into all four corners of your back. Breathe down into your lower belly. So making this connection with your fingertips to the earth and then hand to heart. Begin to explore your body and just notice where you're physically in resistance, maybe in your eyes or your jaw or your breath. Where can you soften with your next few breaths? Bringing some more intention to each breath. Inhale, breathe in what you need today. And then exhale, breathe out anything that might be in the way, anything that might not be serving you today, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Let it go. Because you see, no matter where you are, we forget, we allow our itty bitty shitty committee, our ego, our mind to suck us down into scarcity mindset of not enoughness. But we forget that what you have now is something that you dreamed of back then. Who you are today is something that you've worked on subconsciously or consciously to become who you are today because you see, you have all of the answers within you. You have everything that you need right here, right now. Now bring both hands to your heart. And just let that sink in. Set your intention for your practice, maybe for the rest of your day. Take a cleansing breath, inhale through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. Bring your left hand to your side, right hand sweeps up and over. Inhale. And then rotate your ribs underneath. On your exhale, drop your shoulders, one more breath. Inhale, soften your neck. And then exhale, just round and curl forward. Breathe into your hips and come onto your finger pads. Rock side to side, let it feel good in your lower back and hips. Relax your neck and jaw again. Tuck your chin, roll all the way up, sweep your arms up, inhale. Interlace your fingers, palms face up, full breath in. And then exhale, curl and round. Press your hands towards you as you round through your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, puff up your heart, reach your palms up to the sky. And then exhale, curl and round. Really breathe into each shoulder blade. One more time, inhale, palms up. And then exhale. 
Okay, come on up to center. Uncross your legs, cross them the opposite way. And then bring your left hand by your side. Right arm reaches up and over. Let your right hip lower down to the earth. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, soften here. Inhale. Exhale, curl and round towards the middle. And you know what? This hip might feel a little different. Totally okay. Sway and explore. And stay with your steady breath to steady your mind. Just be present right here. Knowing this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay, tuck your chin. Roll all the way up. And this time, take your hands to your knees. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Draw your shoulder blades back. Exhale, curl and round. Pull onto your knees. Two more of this cat-cow spine variation. Inhale. Exhale. Awaken your spine. Inhale, make it really exaggerated. And exhale. Nice job, yogis. Come on into tabletop. Reach your right leg back and press into the ball of your foot. Just kind of rock front to back. And then cross your back leg over your other leg and just gaze over your left shoulder. Breathe into your side body. Okay. Use some spinal balance. Lift your right foot, lift your left hand. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, curl and crunch. Send your left hand back. Inhale, reach it long. Exhale, curl. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach and hold. You can stay right here. Navel draws in, bend your knee, flip your palm, and maybe catch your tail. Find a little chest opening. Breathe into your shoulder, breathe into your psoas and quadricep. Full breath in. Exhale, left hand down, send your right leg back. And then mindfully, with control, step it in between your hands. You can help out your foot too if you want to. And then just two lunge pulses here. Inhale, deep in your lunge. And then exhale, straighten-ish your front leg. Back toes can curl under. Okay, one more inhale. And exhale. Stay here for about five long breaths. If a split is in your practice, these are all question marks, no shoulds. You can always start to move your front foot forward. Back toes stays tucked under. You know what, I don't have any blocks, but blocks are gonna be really sweet for this practice. So we're working on hamstrings a lot today. So a block can come underneath your thigh, underneath each hand. Keep flexing through your front ankle. And then just notice what happens to your breath when we get into these tight, challenging situations. Stay present here. Okay, come on back to center. Low lunge. And then step it to the top of your mat. Feet are hip width distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Hands to your shins or to the earth. And then exhale, bow and fold. Bend your knees, tuck your chin, roll and ragdoll up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, arms reach up. Open, goddess, exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms high. Exhale, bow low. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, bow. Fingertips touch the earth, right foot steps back long. Okay, two lunge pulses here. Inhale, deep in your lunge. This time, lift your hips. Maybe curl your toes towards your face. Last one, inhale, lunge. And then exhale, stay right here. Hands might come to blocks. Hook your left hip back and down towards your back foot and drop your head, soften your shoulders. Send some love into this hamstring now. Okay, two more breaths. Hands might come to blocks. And if you want to move a little bit deeper into this pose, you can walk your hands back towards your back leg. And you know what? Meet yourself here rather than having those expectations of where you should be. That's the future or where you were before, that's the past. All right, low lunge. 
drop your back knee, heel toe your left foot out, and then find a twist here. Left hand to the earth, peel your right hand to the sky. And then take a couple back strokes. Okay. Left hand to the earth, pick up your back knee, and then just walk it back, Skandasana. Right knee bends, left leg straightens. Y'all, does this mean that your hair is super unhealthy when you can do this and it just stand straight up? I think that's what it means. <laughs> okay, stay here. If your um, booty's to the ground, then flex through your front ankle. If this is not available to you, you can keep your hips lifted. All right, two more breaths. And if you wanna get deeper into your groin and hip, walk your hands out, come onto your finger pads, take it to your edge but let it still feel comfortable. Okay, lunge it to the back of your mat <laughs> and then step it to the back. Left foot meets your right. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand, arms reach up. Inhale, grab your left wrist, find some length. And then exhale to your right, bring your left foot behind you. Little curtsy lunge or curtsy side body stretch. Inhale back to center, switch your grip. Exhale up and over to the left. Bring your right foot behind you. So you're really lengthening through your whole right side body. Nice job. Inhale, find some length. Exhale, spill forward, make it devotional. Inhale, halfway lengthen, flat back. And exhale, step your left foot long behind you. Drop your back knee on Janayasana. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Beautiful, hook your thumbs, palms face up, inhale. And then exhale, like you're trying to lift up and over to the right, exhale. If you've got a block, you can bring a block down to your right side or just stretch, finding length to your left side. Nice job, inhale, back to center. Now, yogi, be nice to your psoas. Maybe left hand to your lower back, keep lifting through your chest. Back toes are tucked under, maybe left foot reaches behind for your left heel, maybe opening up through your heart. Hand might come behind your head. It looks easy, I promise you. <laughs> it's not, for me at least, it's not. So be in tune with your body. Trust your wisdom of where your body wants to take you today. Inhale, come on back to center. And then exhale, hands come inside. Again, lizard lunge on this side. And then we'll be here for about five breaths. So maybe come down to your forearms. If you want to find monkey pose, right hand might catch your tail behind you. Breathe here. And play with this, right? So maybe rock side to side. No breaking anything today though. Okay, y'all ready to move into this? Why not, right? Okay, so heel toe your right foot slightly back to center, but still on the outside of your right hand. Pick up your back knee and walk it in like a foot. So now your booty's in the air. I know this is super flattering. You're staying on the ball of your back foot. Now lift the ball of your front foot. So right heel lifts, both hands are inside. Take it to your step. So bus stop number one, maybe right hand comes inside your calf and you start to nuzzle your right shoulder inside. And this might be where you stay. Right heel roots down. You can find this funky airplane pose, squeeze your knee into your tricep, and then as you pull into your core, reach and lengthen your heart towards the back of your mat. That might be one option. If you're starting to move into this, heel toe your right foot towards the center, keep squeezing knee in, and then frame your foot with hands. So right hand comes to the outer edge of your right foot, walk your left foot back. You're gonna chaturanga your arms, so elbows bend, and maybe start to straighten your right leg Find a little bit of a shelf. Keep reaching your heart forward, energize your toes, and maybe back foot flies. Maybe, maybe. It's a question mark. <laughs> okay. When you're done, come on back. Child's pose facing the back of your mat. Nice try, yogis. Good job. Be here for long. We still have the other side to go. But let your hips get heavy towards the earth. Let your breath stay full. Breathe space into the back of your whole side body, back body, front body, all of your lungs, front and back. 
two more breaths. Okay, come on back up. Let's take two rounds of cat-cow. Tuck your toes, soften your belly, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale. And exhale. Neutral spine, engage your core, send your left foot back this time. Right hand reaches forward, inhale. Exhale, curl and crunch. So use your core without any momentum. Inhale and then exhale. Nice. Inhale. Maybe left knee taps your left shoulder. Okay. Inhale, stay right here. Flip your palm, perhaps. It's a question mark. Catch your tail, open up through the front of your chest. Imagine energizing your toes, kick into your hand to lift and open up through your heart. Okay, send your leg back, inhale. Exhale, step it through, two lunge pulses here, back knee stays down, inhale, deepen your lunge, lift your heart. Exhale, shift your hips back. Inhale, ripple your heart forward. And then exhale, hang out here, stay right here. Front knee doesn't have to go straight. If you wanna take it into your splits, use your block, perhaps coming underneath your hamstring or your hands. Back toes tuck under. So even though we're moving slow, it's not easy, right? So be present to yourself, be kind to yourself. Most importantly, give yourself a lot of grace. That's been my mantra for the last couple months, grace. All right. Low lunge, pick up your back knee, step it to the back of your mat. Inhale, halfway lengthen. And exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand. Arms reach up, inhale. And open mouth, exhale, goddess. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, bow. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, step your left foot back long. Two lunge pulses, inhale, deepen your lunge. And then exhale, lift your hips, maybe curl right toes towards your face. Okay, one more, inhale, lunge. And really you're just exploring here. No pushing, no shoving, just a kind, compassionate exploration of your body. And then you hang out here for a few breaths and you know what, this side might feel completely different. No big deal. Drop your head, unhinge your jaw. Two more breaths, hands might walk back towards your left foot. They might even grab a hold of your left calf, perhaps. Stay with your ujjayi breath, inhale and exhale through your nose. Inhale, low lunge. Back knee lowers, right hand to the sky. Take a couple back strokes, opening up through your chest. Right hand comes inside, walk it to the front of your mat, skandasana. Left knee bends, keep it high or keep it low. And then flex through your right toes. Crawl your fingertips to the side. Because we're not just, <laughs> just with exactly where we're at right now. Good thing to the present. Okay, lunge it for all right. And then back knee lowers, inhale, arms reach up. Anjaneyasana, hook your thumbs, full breath in. Exhale, tone your lower belly up and over to your left. And then relax your shoulders away from your ears. Imagine your hips pressing forward as your ribs lift up and to the left. And then maybe left hand reaches down to the side or to a block. Block would be probably better. And you'll feel even a deeper stretch into your right psoas. Inhale, both arms up, use your core to get there. And then maybe, right hand comes behind you. 
and then maybe right hand reaches back. You can always tuck your back toes under and then left hand reaches up. Find this modified Ustrasana, open heart pose. Okay, inhale, take your time. Both hands come inside, heel to your left foot out to the edge of your mat. I'll be here for about five breaths, so maybe rock side to side. Left hand can press your inner thigh away. Monkey pose, quad stretch, open up through your heart if you wanna take it there. Right forearm can always come down to the ground. And you know what? You don't have to mirror what you did on the other side. Okay. Here we go, y'all. <laughs> Pick up your back knee. Walk it in. So booty is high. Left hand's inside your foot. Now engage your core and kind of find a rounding in your spine like that cat spine. Lift your front heel like a backpack. Left hand to the inside of your calf. Start to nuzzle your shoulder underneath your knee. Now press your heel down, squeeze your knee in, find that funky airplane. Left hand reaches back, right hand reaches back. Ta-da! Squeeze in as you reach your heart forward. Nice. Hang out there, celebrate that. Or start to walk your back foot back. Elbows bend, create a shelf. So hands are just underneath basically your nipples. And then maybe you start to tiptoe your left foot out, elbows bend, energize your toes, and then reach your heart forward so much. Maybe back heel lifts. Yes! <laughs> nice job, yogis. All right, find puppy pose, but first wag your hips side to side. How'd it go? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, crawl your hands forward, melt your heart, hips lift high. Slow down your breath, two more. Take your time, come all the way onto your belly. Let's do a sphinx pose to unlock our back. So elbows are underneath shoulders. Drop your head for a moment. Chin tucks towards your chest, ears come to your shoulders. And then just tick tock one ear to one shoulder, nice and slow. Opening up through the back of your neck. And then like a turtle coming out of your shell, draw your navel in. Press into your forearms and one vertebrae at a time. Start to elongate. So you're not reaching out from your chin. You're reaching from your heart. Slight tuck of your chin. Draw your shoulder blades back and imagine creating space in between each vertebrae. So you're pressing down into your forearms but pulling the ground towards you as you reach your heart forward. Beautiful, come on down to the earth. Walk your hands off your mat, spider cobra. Elbows lift, inhale. And then exhale, drop your right shoulder, gaze over your left. Inhale, back to center. And then take your time, left shoulder dips, gaze to your right. And come on back to center. And then exhale, lower all the way down to the earth. Back to tabletop. Let's find our way into downward facing dog because we haven't done that yet. Spread your hands wide. Let your heart melt towards your thighs. Sit bones lift. And just shake out your head. Right leg to the sky, inhale. Bend your knee, open your hip. And then find a little back bend if you'd like wild thing. We're gonna move into pigeon. Right hand to the earth. Take your time, right knee to your right uh, wrist. Walk your left leg back. Blocks are really sweet underneath your hip, underneath your chest, underneath your head. Breathe into every single cell of your body.
so often we forget. We forget how truly blessed we are because we get so lost and distracted in our mind and all of the thoughts that loop us into stories of the past, of things that you should have done or you could have done or mistakes you might have made. Or it gets distracted with worry of the future. All of the what ifs, the planning. And you know what, none of that is helpful. All of it just keeps us distracted and busy and stressed. So that's why I wanted to slow it down today to stay connected to your body, to your breath, to movement, to this moment. Because it's only when we can stay present that we remember again our true essence, that you have everything that you need right here and right now. You have all of the answers within you and that you are enough and you matter. Okay, come on back to Downward Facing Dog. Take your time. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Bend your knee, open your hip. And then you can move right into pigeon or flip it into wild thing. Left knee bends, right leg straightens. Let it feel good. Okay. Left knee to your left wrist, back knee comes down. Sleeping pigeon pose here. And you know any hip opener will do. So if um, this feels pinchy in your knees, you can always find the shape on your back. And then just start to explore here what feels right in your body. Because, you know, I think with yoga, meditation, breath work, anything really that allows you to come home to yourself, when we can do this consistently, and I'm human too, I don't, <laughs> but when we can, it's easier to return home when we feel untethered. So when we feel groundless, we start searching for anything outside of ourselves. For me, it's going to the pantry <laughs> and the fridge. But you know what? Those answers don't lie out there. Even in our relationships, the status, the money, even in our kids, in our food, all of the answers you seek are right here. So that's why it's important to get quiet enough to hear that whisper of your heart and soul. Okay. One more breath here. Okay. Come on up, shift into your left hip and let's just come into a comfortable seat. If you wanna find Shavasana, you can. into that mudra again. Bring your left hand to your heart, all of your right fingertips to the earth. Find some length on your inhale, lighting up your chakras through the crown chakra, and then exhale, send your breath down through your sit bones into the earth. Just like we began, use your breath to cleanse you of anything that you no longer need. With each exhale, imagine it releasing out through your sit bones into the earth. And on our in-breath, let each breath fill you up, renew you, and remind you of your own true essence and your power. both hands to your heart in Anjali Mudra, the Mudra of Offering. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Sigh it out, exhale, bow into your heart, honoring yourself and honoring this practice that reveals us to ourselves. You have the power, the beauty, the radiance, and the grace to set your attitude for each day. 
to be present for each moment. Bring your hands to your third eye. May your thoughts be clear, steady, and present. Hands to your lips. May your words be kind and compassionate. Hands to heart. May your heart remain open and grateful and know that all of the answers lie within you. Be the change you wish to see. Let's bow to each other's divine and radiant light that resides within each of us as we say, Namaste.